All right, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now, as you guys can tell from behind me, bit of a different backdrop. I actually moved houses. I'm out here in California now. The setup's not completely done. It'll do for now. I still need to get some lighting in here so that the image quality will be a lot better. But this last two weeks, man, the move, it's been an interesting time to say the least. I'm not gonna dive into too much details. All I can say, man, is thank you guys so much for the outpour, the outpouring, that. SAT word of the day, I don't even, <laughs> thank you guys so much for the support. I'm already messing up my words as I do in pretty much every episode that we ever film, ever. But I'll make it up for you guys here today. We're actually playing in the Patriots franchise Super Bowl. We are taking on Oreo, another TGL member, another pro player. He actually defeated Astro, the Bears who we lost to in, you know, pretty disappointing fashion last year in the Super Bowl. So he actually took him down. He's in the Super Bowl of our other CFM as well. So Oreos are really tough. I'm expecting this to be a good game. We have not played him on this channel yet. I'm really excited to play the Super Bowl. We got to avenge last season. If you guys are excited as well, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys again for all the support. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love you guys. We're back on the YouTube grind. And with that being said, let's go ahead, jump to the rest of the episode. All right, now here is the Lions roster and up top, 399 overall. It's probably the best offensive lineman in the game because of the speed. Armstead, he's got Honey Badger, only 90 speed, but 99 overall. Russell Wilson, a top five quarterback in CFM, no question about it. Gets all the best abilities. Buda Baker, Jamal Adams. Now there is one glaring weakness with the Lions roster, and that is their wide receiving core. It's just not the greatest. When your best receiver is 90 speed Robert Woods, you might be in for a tough time. But honestly, if you guys haven't seen the way Oreo plays, he is not afraid to run the ball every single play. That's something I kind of struggle with, trying to stop the run. So this might be an interesting game. With that being said, let's go ahead, get in the game, and win the damn Super Bowl. Now before we go ahead and jump into the game, as you guys know, when we get to Super Bowl week, we have the yearly awards announced. I have not looked at these yet. So let's go ahead and jump into this and see if we got MVP this year. <sighs> pain. Honestly, just pain. Again, the second year in a row, we fall short of getting MVP for Lamar Jackson. Kyler Murray of the Niners is going to go ahead and get a 15-1 record. They actually got bounced in the divisional round which makes me a bit disappointed. We also got a bunch of force wins late in the season, which is you know, definitely unfortunate. It did not help our case. Lamar Jackson snubbed once again. We have to avenge them, get the Super Bowl victory. And for coach of the year, the Niners gets it. How does that make any sense? Coach Teehee gets it over us. We went 16-0 and we're in the bowl. Justin Reed, man, the best player in the game, by the way. I got to pick him up in a CFM, but that's beside the point. How are we not getting coach of the year at 16-0 undefeated? That doesn't make any sense. This just adds some motivation for me to go out there and just trounce my opponent in the bowl. Okay, I did not realize this. Oreo changed this gamer tag to it's fun to run. I mean, this guy is just sick in the head. I told you guys he's not afraid to run the ball literally every play, and he paid $10 to change his gamer tag to that. All right, these are some pretty sick cutscenes, though. I'm not going to ruin it too much, man. I'll let you guys go ahead. Okay, it's already over. Never mind. Let's go ahead, jump into the game. We're actually in the Cowboy Stadium. I'm winning this game by a million. I told you guys, I'm pissed off after last season's loss. We have to win this one. I cannot go home in disappointment. Okay, now I told you guys the glaring weakness of the Lions is their wide receiving core. It's not very good. I think we can go ahead and take advantage of that as long as we're able to stop the... Well, we hit him at the line of scrimmage, and Jamal Agnew, a wide receiver, a special teams wide receiver, is just taking two bodies forward, but that's fine. I told you guys, I think we can play a lot of man-to-man -man here. I don't think his wide receivers are going to get separation, and as long as we're getting some heat in there as well with the 1-4-6 blitz, I think we're going to have a good day out here on defense. On the ball again, but Chase Young is going crazy on the D-line early. Shedding once again, third and four. We have an opportunity to get him to a fourth down right here. He's got the slant. Oh, Simmons catch the ball. He's got the slant open. I think Chase Young just went crazy off the edge, and Simmons catch the ball. Why did he just poke at it? Perfect defense. Nothing open. He's running backwards with Wilson. 
we get off the field right there. I was a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. This is Russell Wilson is fast back there in the pocket. Well, you can't ask for a better start than that. All right, a little pro tip here as well in the Super Bowl. I heard that if you guys actually, not, not conservative here, if you guys actually change your intermediate and deep pass catching to conservative, if you guys know those animations where like it's just a wide open pass and the ball goes right through their hands, I heard if you put this on conservative that that actually doesn't happen. We'll see if it's true or not. We don't get any yards right there. I think I had the out route on the right wide open. I got to be able to make that read a lot quicker. Also, if I ever like kind of glance over here and here, I'm still not used to the camera placement. It's a bit tilted as well. I ordered a tripod for it. Never mind. Came back. Just focus on the game, dude. Drag open again to Duvernay. Going to pick up some nice yardage, making it a very manageable third down right here. I don't really want to go ahead and kick three. Definitely need a first down. Two-man rush. Eckler in the flat. Wait, Eckler has abilities? When did Austin Eckler get abilities? What does he have? He has bulldozer and grab... I did not realize he got superstar. This is huge news. I wish I knew this so I could actually go in and change the abilities to the ones I want. But hey, it's better than not having abilities. Corner of the end zone wide open. Tyron Johnson. I don't know what play it just called. I think it was in pistol full house. I don't know. That was kind of a laser, though. I might have to go back to that. That might have been a glitch. I mean, this dude, Jamal Agnew, is literally just covered in a butter, man. Like, you can't tackle him. He's just gliding through the defense right now. Okay, so he's going to go back to the power O, which is honestly a pretty effective run against the four down lineman set right there. He's going up top, but that's too much speed from Kerry Vincent Jr., the rookie out of... I have no idea. I'm going to be honest. I think he's on the Broncos. My football, not my college football knowledge, not the greatest, as you can tell. We have the route bounce open to Duvernay. He only rushes two people. We're going to turn it upfield. Oh, I got to watch out for Jamal Adams. I'm not going to lie. Off to a great start on offense. Hey, we're, we're cooking in the Super Bowl. I'm not going to lie. Oreo has no idea how to stop the spread offense. And as long as we can continue to play great defense, make him have to throw the deep ball, we're going to be in a really good spot to win this game. You can't ask for a better start than this. On the ball again. This dude, Agnew, is a fighter. He keeps falling forward. We're getting some pressure off this side. Forcing the throw away at third and six coming up right here. Over four. We have not given up a single completion yet. It's out of bounds. We're getting lucky. We're playing great. We're getting lucky. This is awesome right here. We got to watch the running back right here. He's got the crosser open again. We get some pressure. I should have ran with it. I thought from the pressure we were getting that he just wouldn't be able to get the ball there. It almost worked out for us. Really nice pass. Big completion up to the 42-yard line. We've got to be able to hold a three right here. Josh. Oh, oh my. I did not. <laughs> we got a crazy shot off the side. And look, Russell Wilson almost made an amazing play. His guy like came back across, blocked Josh Allen, who came free. I honestly had Robert Woods open in the crosser. That was almost a dot from Oreo, but the catch up speed from Richard Robinson, who I believe has 93 or 94 speed, gets back there. I honestly thought that was going to be a touchdown. Oh, trying to get sticky with Lamar Jackson. I got to be careful. I do not want to fumble. Of 
DeLorean. DeLorean. That is a sick name. I don't know who that is, but he comes screaming off the edge. Second and 14. Sends a little bit of pressure. I think he's probably going to go back to that after having success on that play. Okay, he actually bluffs it this time. Honestly, just trying to get a TikTok clip. You guys know how that went last Super Bowl, so I got to be really careful. I'm going to run the ball right here. Oh, and there's actually just nowhere to go. This is why I do not run the ball. Fourth and six. We're playing great defense. I honestly think I'm going to punt right here. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be stupid. I'm not going to do what I did last Super Bowl and just have a total collapse. Just trying to be cute. Trying to be fun. Trying to post all these crazy highlights. And I just butchered the punt. Kazer, I think with this first punt of this... Okay, actually, no, I did not butcher it. This was a crazy punt right here. Kazer, I think his first punt of the entire season. It was honestly a great one. Josh Allen, Chase Young are having a field day right here, ladies and gentlemen. Ray Ray McLeod with the sideline laser up to the 36. That was a really nice pass right there. That's, listen, I don't want to talk about it, right? That's that old man stick right there. I don't even know what I was doing. I basically got turned around. I don't know if we were getting the interception or not. I think we might have been there with 99 Speed Stokes. It would have been really tight, but I had the worst click on of all time. That was just really bad for me. I'm going to be honest. That was terrible. What am I doing? All right. Honestly, though, we are not in a bad spot. Like, we do get ball right here. We have an opp we've been playing great offense. We have an opportunity to go ahead, put some more points on the board, and then we get ball at half as well. So, this is really important. We got to watch out for the pressure. I think he's going to blitz here off that right-hand slot. That's exactly what he does. He has a cloud flat on the right as well. Nothing really open. We have B. A crazy throw for Lamar to Jarvis Landry cutting across the field. We put some moves on him. Jarvis Landry just not the fastest, not the greatest with the run after catch. But honestly, that's about as much as you can ask for. A great route bounce up the middle of the field. A huge completion. And we're already in the red zone. Pressure again. We got Eckler. He's got Bulldozer. Oh, we, don't, we don't need to use Bulldozer. I was honestly flicking the stick to try to Bulldoze. I forgot about conservative ball carrier. There was two defenders right in front of us. And uh, they kind of just both thumbed out. I'm going to be honest. Kind of noticed that that crosser was getting pretty open. I had a tough time. Uh, speaking of a crosser getting open, that is a laser. When your best receiver is Robert Woods, you can't really expect to hang on to that. Anyone faster, anyone with abilities, I'm sure that's a catch. But Chase Young right here. Ooh, we almost had a crazy lurk with Ramsey. He's going to go out. Maybe could have called a timeout. I honestly probably should have called a timeout right there. I thought he might go for it, though, being down 14 already and with us getting ball. So, yeah, we're up 14. We get ball. No reason to do anything stupid right here. Let's go ahead. Just make sure we have a good drive. Maybe run the ball a little bit. Take some clock with us as well. All right. Well, he we switched to the over G. I tried to run the ball, be smart, take some clock with me, and just methodically move down the field and... Yeah, that just doesn't work for me, man. I got to run around and just press buttons with Lamar Jackson. That's honestly the only way to play offense in CFM. I thought we just got insanely sticky. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were off to the races, and Jamal Adams just comes out of nowhere. I saw a bunch of green grass. He comes out of nowhere, and literally, that was that was one of the wildest animations I've ever seen. I've never seen that before. I don't know if that was a user strip or a CPU strip, but he reads in there. Flunk. That, was a, that was a wild animation. I just told you guys I want to be smart, and I went ahead and just did something incredibly stupid. So, <sighs> yeah, I feel a little bad. He's got the crosser wide open, but, yeah, Rashard Robinson having a great game for us. Turn to the right. I hate how you have no control after a pick. His second interception of the game, though, he might be the Super Bowl MVP. 
Oh, we sent some heat off the edge. We're able to scramble, though. We have B wide open. Woo! Landry putting some moves on the Honey Badger right there. I'm going to go ahead and run the ball here on 2nd and 12. Maybe pick up a couple yards. I think he's expecting pass, so the run might be good right here. And Okay, Eckler falling forward. Not the greatest run ever. I just, I just suck at running. I don't know why I can't do it. I'm going to go verticals again right here. Let's see if we can hit him with a seam over top. I thought with 98 speed Lamar Jackson, we could get away from whoever that was. We just didn't really have anything open. We take a... What am I doing, bro? I took a huge sack. We could have easily just taken three and gone up two possessions... Or three possessions. Excuse my math. If I do something stupid and Kayser... Kayser might be the MVP as long as we can get a nice little punt right here. Two seconds left on the play clock. Taking as much time as possible. Is this a punt dot? Oh my god, that is a punt dot to the two-yard line. Hey, you guys can forgive me now for taking that dumb sack right there. A lot of you guys are saying, K-Mac, why don't you punt? Why are you? Why do you go for it on fourth and 30? You guys, I think you guys doubted my punting ability, but as you can see right here, it's top of the line. Uh, I was hoping he wouldn't get his feet in bounds. He's basically just going to the crosser every single time, and I know you guys are probably like, K-Mac, why don't you guard it? But honestly, from the way he's been playing, like, that really, even though it's been there, it really hasn't been there, if that makes sense to you guys. Like, that is exactly what I'm talking about right there. Like, I'm okay with him throwing that. There's just no way that should be completed. We're setting off that side every single time. See, again, like, pick. Oh, my. Who is that? Was that Robinson again? That should have been another interception. There you go. Oreo finally finding something open besides the crosser. He hits me with the curl route. That's kind of been there all game. All right, running some cover two right here. We've been mixing up with the match coverage, with the cover three as well. I think he, dude, he had a tight end wide open for a touchdown. We like, we tried to use her, but we were so far behind it. Oreo, like I said, this dude's a runner. I don't know why he came out here trying to pass every single play. He actually had it just wide open. I'm actually going to run some man coverage right here. I have not really ran any man coverage all game. We're going to go ahead and do that right here. It's kind of a give. It's it's kind of a giveaway, not really, because this guy is kind of lined up in the linebacker position. The crosser doesn't really look open, but he does have playmaker. We make the tackle in front of the line, but again, Agnew just fighting forward. Oh, that is super frustrating. I needed to get off the field right there. He probably would have gone for it regardless. All right, this playmaker out of the backfield is nasty. I don't know why he hasn't been utilizing that a lot more. That is just disgusting out of the backfield. Changing direction on a dime. I just get swerved. I get swerved. I was lined up square on him, just pressing A, and I just couldn't make the tackle. Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson, Russell, well, Russell Wilson looked like Lamar Jackson. It just would not let me make the tackle. We end up giving a touchdown. This is kind of getting hairy. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little nervous right now. We have X open. Jamal Adams has no chance in checking the young phenom, Jerry Judy. An absolute dime from Lamar Jackson on the run. We are so close to field goal range. I'm not going to do something stupid. I'm going to try my best not to take a hit stick with Lamar Jackson. Although, I'm going to be honest. If I get a lane, I'm going to try to take it. I think I'm going to run the ball again right here with Eckler. After he's got the bulldozer ability, we're going to give it a shot. Again, falling forward. We just want to make sure we go ahead. Just don't lose any yards. Don't take any dumb sacks. Don't do anything stupid like that. Let's just make sure we get field goal range. We can kick our three. I don't need seven. We can go up two possessions here, take some clock with us, and just play smart. We're going to run again, and Eckler fighting forward. Eckler is a tank. He's been great for us the last two seasons, and now that he's got abilities, this dude's just got some extra motivation. I think he's expecting to run. I think he's going to sell out for it hard. I think we can afford to pass. Even if we take a sack, we Probably still in field goal range. He's only going to rush four. Go ahead. Take off with Lamar Jackson. Backside dig, and it's almost intercepted by Jamal Adams. It was literally wide open, and the acrobat ability goes insane. Now, if this were any other game, I would go ahead and just go for it. But you guys know this is the Super Bowl. 
Kind of makes that, that meter's moving fast. These old man fingers, they're moving a little slow nowadays. We're gonna go ahead and do the smart thing. I don't know why Madden, Ask Madden, John Madden would tell me to go for it. That is so incredibly dumb. Let me just take my three, make it a two possession game. We've been playing great defense. Continue to do that. Let's get one more stop and win the Super Bowl. Crosser, can we get back there with Ramsey? He's going up top. Rocky Sane, I need you to knock the ball loose. We tried to get back there with our user just a little bit too slow. And I was making fun of Robert Woods for being slow earlier, but he absolutely cooked Ramsey right there. It was honestly way faster. Wow, that is a really nice play. Robert Woods is just hanging on to everything for Oreo right now. I thought, like, it was so open. He threw it kind of late. We clicked on. We made a perfect play on it. We hit the receiver right as he caught it. And I need that ball to get knocked loose. I'm not going to lie. We're only up three now. This is a huge drive for us. We got to go ahead, get a couple first downs, and just seal the game. Even though the run lanes haven't been, you know, completely there, I feel like... Speaking of which, what is that acceleration from Eckler? We actually had a lane wide open up the middle and just got a weird one cut right there. I tried to step up. He's running some man-to-man -man and Michael Pierce sheds up the middle. Third and 12. This got a little bit hairy, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we know he's running man coverage. I'm going to go ahead and motion over Duvernay. We got our our man-to-man -man cookers on the left-hand side. He's clicked onto his D-tackle. He actually did a zone on the left-hand side, which guarded it perfectly. As long as B continues to run, he'll be wide open. Jarvis Landry turning upfield. Duvernay throws the block. Duvernay throws the block, and we're into the end zone. What a play to potentially seal the Super Bowl. Still a lot of time left, so we are not out of the woods just yet. But what a play, third and 12. I thought the slant was gonna be open. A zone was waiting for us right there. A great job by Oreo, putting out those defensive adjustments to stop the play that I wanted to go to. Duvernay throwing a crazy block and a huge play late in the Super Bowl. Some crazy heroics from my entire team right there. Just playing awesome. He scored really easily last drive. We can't get too cocky. We can't get too complacent right here. SAT word of the day. Got to make sure we go ahead, lock in right here, and just take away his read. Chase Young, a huge sack. Two-minute warning, fourth and 12. Can we get off the field and seal the Super Bowl victory? I don't, I'm not really too afraid of him scrambling for the first down, but I want to make sure that he's not able to roll out and just hit any deep crossers, any deep corners, anything like that. I think the spy will help us, certainly. That's exactly what it's going to go for right here. We're right on it, and it goes right over our head. We got six for four Simmons right there. I saw it a little bit late. I thought we got back to it, and it just goes right over our head, perhaps a foot underneath. I told you guys, I knew he was going to roll out. We sent the spy. It just could not get there fast enough. Deep corner again. This time we make the adjustment to stop it. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know who that was intended for, but Ramsey in no man's land coming up with perhaps a game stealing interception. Again, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. This is looking like a tough situation for Oreo, but we did give up an onside kick last time. This is certainly not over. Let's go ahead and just run the ball a couple times. I don't know what run stick that was. I'm just going to be honest. I was just pinballing off everyone right there. All right, so just one more run. I'm not too worried about getting the first down right here. Can we get the first? Oh, we almost came through the other side. I probably could have bounced that outside, maybe gotten the first down, but honestly, I'm okay with punting right here. The math is highly in our favor. The math, I believe it or not, I did graduate from college. I can't, you know, I struggle with basic uh, times tables, but honestly, I, I think the math is uh, largely in our favor right here. Go ahead, punt the ball. Even if he scores, he has to get an onside kick if he wants to go ahead and win the game. I mean, we are punt laser right now. Please let me know. Please show me some appreciation in the comments below for how amazing my punting has been this game. I, I never punt, and I've just been dotting, honestly. Are the running back right here. He's got the crosser open. I'm okay with that. Again, 
as long as we're not giving up any one play touchdowns i'm perfectly fine with it and even if we do it's really not the end of the world just because like i said he has to get an onside kick corner out open he gets out of bounds he might have been able to turn that upfield for a touchdown fortunately for me though it was such a tough throw fourth and three i don't know why he's not kicking three honestly i don't really know i think he might run into time right here he's got five seconds i think it's too late this is probably the last play of the super bowl he's gonna go for the the touchdown he gets it but it, it doesn't matter too a little too late boys and we're gonna win the super bowl by a oh it's actually gonna go ahead and let him I don't, I don't even know why. Why would he even let him do this? It does. The game is over. The game is mathematically over. It just gives us another second to go ahead and cherish our Super Bowl victory, boys. I told you guys from the start of the season, we were going to go ahead and get this done. We win by, I guess, two points against Oreo. I never really felt like this game was in jeopardy, though. We just played such great offense. We didn't really throw any bad passes. We didn't make any bad reads. And we finally get it done. We win the bowl against Oreo. GG's to the Lions. And again, I told you guys, I was avenging last season. Undefeated, a spotless record. We dominated every game we played. And we are the Super Bowl champions, baby. Let's go. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The two-point victory. Lamar Jackson having an amazing game. I think the Super Bowl MVP, honestly, should probably go to either our punter or Rashad Robinson with the two interceptions. Jarvis Lynch, or not Jarvis Lynch. Was it Jarvis Lynch? It was Tyron Johnson making that huge third-down conversion late in the game to make it a two-possession game once again. So those three guys had an awesome game. Online connection survey. I don't know why you... Where was my Super Bowl celebration? Where's the podium and the trophy? I did not even see it. What is that about? Ruining my immersive experience. But hey, we got the job done. We got a ton of upgrades here. I don't know if there's going to be a season three for this specific league. If not, we will go ahead and start another CFM. Which, speaking of which, I have some awesome news for you guys. We are actually underway in another CFM. The biggest one I've ever been a part of. The biggest prize pool. We're already in week four. And again, because of everything that's been kind of going on in my life, the move, everything else outside of that, I have not been able to record the first four games. But that league is crazy. I know you guys have been asking for a lot better competition. It is just filled top to bottom with pros. It is like a $3,000 prize pool. It is insane. And I cannot wait to bring you guys the first episode of that. Some other big news as well. Well, we actually went ahead and scooped the PlayStation 5. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for that as well. So we will be running some PS5 CFMs next year for Madden 22. A lot of exciting things to come. I can't thank you guys enough for such an awesome CFM. Be on the lookout for the last episode of the Jaguar CFM and then our new CFM as well. But again, thank you guys so much for the support. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I'm so happy I could finally bring home the Super Bowl to you guys. This is for you guys. Thank you guys again so much. And with that being said, I will see you guys next week. Peace.